Hey y'all, I'm back again. This is lesson three, and three, three fingers. Uh, and, and this lesson is going to actually start you out on the low part of Cripple Creek. And we're going to take stuff we've worked on. There will be no new material today. This lesson is going to use the rolls that we learned, the pinch pattern and that alternating roll from lesson one. And then we're going to use our hammer on and our slide from lesson two. And that's it. And we're going to, we're going to build the uh, low part of Cripple Creek. And you know Cripple, it, it, it's the picking and grinning thing from Hee Haw. So you, you know this. You've heard it, and, and you can do it. Now, if you don't have your rolls as smooth as you want them, then don't do this lesson yet. We'll keep working on those rolls until they're smooth and, and you're happy with them. If you're uh, not happy with the way your hammer sounds or your slide sounds, then continue working on those before you tackle this lesson three. Work on those, get them smooth. Uh, skipping ahead and trying to do things that you're not ready for, that really won't help you. You, you got to get those foundational things down first. And, and I don't say that to be mean. I just say it to be realistic. You know, I'm not trying to hold you back. Uh, if you get those rolls down, if you get those, that slide down and the hammer down, and then you're able to do it like we did in the last lesson, you know, slide with a roll, hammer with a roll, you know, then, then you're ready for this. And if you can do that, then this lesson is going to be a breeze. So you'll be able, if you've done all of that, by the end of the day today or tomorrow, whenever you start this and really work on it, you, you'll actually be able to play Cripple Creek and drive your family crazy. And at least the first part of Cripple Creek and and then the next part, next part's even going to be easier. So let, let's just get started on it. First thing, let, let's just go through our tinning. And I think I'm pretty close. I've used a, uh, I, I've got a little electronic tinner here. There it is. It's that guy right there. And that's what I've used today. And so there's your first string. It's a D. And your second string, that's a B. Third string, fourth string, or right, here's your third again. Then your fourth, there's your fourth. And finally your fifth string, which is a G. And I'm pretty close. It's not perfect, but that's okay. But this week, tinning kind of matters because we're actually going to be playing a song, and so we want it to kind of sound in tune or, or pretty close. All right, so we're going to be using our alternating roll, so let's just do that a couple of times. And, and just, just do it off the third string today. the fourth just stuff like that that's all we're going to do and then remember our three pinch four pinch and, and we won't actually well you'll you'll see how we're going to utilize that pinch and, and it's it's a breeze so what we're going to do is we're going to start with that slide and remember our slide we're going to do from two to four on the third string so we're going to do that with our roll so slide two, five, one. So that's three, two, five, one. So slide, two, five, one. So that's part one. So we're going to do that one time. We're going to slide. And then we're going to do that same roll, but we're going to do it open. the slide again with the roll and then we're going to do our four pinch four and then pinch the top and bottom 
All right, so here's what you've got. You've got slide with the roll. So each of these, I'll, I'll just either say slide, and then I'll say open, and then I'll say slide, and then I'll say four pinch. And all we're doing each time, there, there's a roll there. So slide with a roll, and then slide without the roll, or no slide, <laughs> a roll without the slide, and then slide, and then four, pinch. So again, this time I'll try to stick it all together slowly. Open. Slide. Four, pinch. Now, if you know the words, you can put the words to the song with it. Here, They kind of fit like this. So it's going up Cripple Creek. Going a run. So that'll help you keep it in your head what's going on. So that's all we're doing. Now the second part's just as simple. So that's the that's just the first first half of that part. And then the second half is starts with that slide again. And then open, just like we did. Now this time we're going to do our hammer on. It's on the fourth string. Remember that? For, hammer from open. That. So it's going to be hammer. Two, five, one, and then three. Pinch. So that second part is slide. Open. Hammer. Three. More time. So let's go through the whole. So that's that builds your whole A part or low part to Cripple Creek. So let's just go through it real slow. Slide. Open. Slide. Four, pinch, slide, open, hammer, three, pinch. Let's do it again. I'll try not to make many mistakes. Slide, open, slide, four, pinch, slide, open, Words go going up the cripple creek, going on a run, going up the cripple creek to have a little fun. So I want you to do that a bunch this week. So slide open, slide. Open, hammer, three, pinch. And so each one of those is an alternating roll. Two, five, one, three, two, five, one, three, two, five, one, four, pinch. Three, two, five, one, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, pinch. Does that make sense? I think it does. So I'll play through it just a little quicker so, and give you something to shoot for this week while you're practicing it. This is lesson three. So by lesson three here, we've, we've actually got a song or part of a song that we can play. And really, lesson four, we're going to have just one little simple thing we're going to learn for lesson four, and then, then you'll have the whole thing of Cripple Creek, or at least one break. And, you know, you'll be able to play through Cripple Creek. So here we go. One, two... Ready, play.
work on that a ton this week. And by the end of the week, you'll sound like... So there you go. That's lesson three. Looking forward to seeing you again in a few days, and we'll do the next part. Practice, practice, practice. Put a lot of time in it. Uh, take these pieces slow. Get them super smooth, and you you want to you, you want to be able to play it without thinking about it. And I know you can do this. I learned how to do it. I know you can learn how to do it. And we will see you in a few days. But if it's a few months before you're ready to see it, that's cool too. Y'all be sure to subscribe, hit like, please, and uh, I'll appreciate it if nobody else does. And we'll see you in a, in a few. Thanks again.